Yeah, hello and welcome to this broadcast. I hope you are all fine. A couple of guys in the chat already. I'm a bit late, but um, yeah, I couldn't couldn't do much about it. Had to finish finish a lesson properly, and after that, needed to do one or two things that were really urgent. So let's get <laughs> let's get going here. Um, let's play some five minute games, of course, and I completely completely wrecked my rating last week last monday but i have to say that i got it back <laughs> as it tends to happen i got it back yeah hello to all of the regulars game in the... started oh that's really loud let's turn this down a little bit yeah hello to all of the regulars in the chat like mate grinder or biggest dickers oh Tony Rotella is on. Hi, Tony. <laughs> so, welcome to the show. Now, Tony is the author of a chess book, Killer Sicilian. So, um, Poco, Poco or Poco plays this semi Slav type of setup against uh, my opening. Yeah, this is um, a very decent way of playing. I think white is just a little bit better here, but it's not not much. So I'm happy about the isolated pawn, but the thing is, he has some counterplay, the dark squares in particular. Okay, so queen to a5 is not playing so quickly. Okay, I go here for queen b2 potentially. No, that's not an equalizing line. I mean, black, I think, uh, still um, suffers a little bit here. Yeah? Just a little bit. I mean, I'd still rather be white here. Yeah? In many, en in many endings, white can still press a little bit. Yeah, I don't like to trade heavy pieces here all that much. But it's tough to... It's tough to um, get the upper hand on the C-farm. Okay, I think I'll trade. Not bad. So maybe queen a3 here. Trying to provoke the rook trade. Yeah, I'm threatening now to take and win the pawn on d5, so. I think he will very likely just take on c1. I can play, play a pre-move there. Check. Yeah, this is not much, but white is still having a slight pull in this position. Okay, so queen to b2 is the normal move. I don't want to allow well, queen to b2 actually does allow queen e1, so this is a bit of an annoyance. Hmm. It's not quite clear what to do. Um, my Alicant's repertoire that's in the works will still take a long time till it is completed. I really think, um, yeah, very... Uh, weeks month maybe it uh, i don't have much time for side projects okay so queen a5 um there's potentially here queen e1 
and a2 is hanging so i probably play the pawn you want you would rather be black here no that is a wrong assessment i mean it's probably equal but uh, i mean black black is definitely not for choice here uh, okay so i'm going to approach with the king So if I go king d2, he will play knight e4. I wonder if f3 is actually an idea. It looks a little bit strange. But it is an interesting move, actually. King d2 was also blundering due to knight b1. Um, no, I'm not a big fan of asparagus. <laughs> Funny question by Rusty Tube. Asparagus is Spargel, Bayerischer Schweizer, Spargel. <laughs> okay, so we have gotten into a pure bishop ending, why I'm slightly better. Very slightly, but I am slightly better. So is there any way for me to make any headway in this position? Probably not. How can we do it? I, in fact, I can try something here, put the bishop here and actually this is something that i recently saw in a game <laughs> white putting the pawns on light squares which looks strange but it is a way to make some headway um thomas oden will ask if i am stronger over the border online if there is there a difference um that that, that certainly depends um I mean, online, I don't play any longer time control games, quite clearly. Time warning. I know that looks weird, but I have an idea with this. Yeah, he saw the right way to, to play this. <laughs> you have to put it there. Here I don't have I don't have anything. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Tony, you you got it right. It is Vojo Kalifman. <laughs> you know your stuff. <laughs> yes. Okay, so there is Draw nothing to do. Offered. Draw offered. Game drawn. Yeah. Yeah, the idea is if the bishop is like here on f7, then I have e4. If the bishop, if he would have put the bishop here, like on g8, f7, eh, you know, the just, just, I'm just showing the idea eh, by, by playing some some moves that probably don't make sense. Like here, here. Like in this situation, I have e4. e4. <laughs> this is an idea. Uh, if the bishop is on that, that diagonal, it would work, yeah? But uh, even then you have to fight, yeah, to, to, to win, actually, <laughs> because you don't even win some of the, uh, the, the king and pawn endings. Yeah, yeah, there was a difference. So, okay, new game, and see what happens. The gingy Indian, is it a good opening? Yeah, that depends. If white actually allows this bishop takes the three stuff, it is good, yeah. White usually 
actually avoids this nowadays. Yeah. This is okay for black. This is okay for black, but, but white Sorry. usually avoids it anyway. So, um, hmm, e4 against who is RST? We don't know, but he can try to refute my eloquence. Um, um, yeah, people get caught cheating online. I don't know how the it's it's difficult. I mean, this is not something which has um, some kind of, I guess, um, real legal background. Um, I mean, an apology is definitely not enough. People have to be banned for this kind of behavior. And I personally, um, I mean, I would um, would ban them quite heavily <laughs> because um, it's just the lowest of the low. Yeah, to to cheat in online chess. Um, okay, so here, queen c7, or let's go queen c7. Requesting a Dutch defense, okay. So I can try g6 and uh, snatch this one. I think he wants to actually play bishop g2, go f4. Maybe. And four, I have a check here, so check. this is this is really okay. And now H five. I wonder if he has f5. Eh? That really makes some sense. Knight d2, e4 is also an idea. Hmm. I'm really tempted by h5. Let's do it. I mean, f f5 is very scary, but he didn't do it. Yes. So he can, he's not threatening to take. He's not threatening to take. And he's also not threatening to take, uh, um, to play g4. Okay. Yeah, he wants to play b4, a4 stuff. Okay, I have to. This is something where time is critical. So let's see if I can open this up. Yeah, do I go here? I think I do. Mm, very tough, huh? Is he is he threatening a five? Maybe. I mean, it is it is. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah. Okay. Maybe I don't have the time. Yeah, with some of those cheating cases, it's a bit difficult. Yeah, there was uh, the mention of a of a um, 
of a of a German uh, player who who was um, heavily suspected of cheating, but there was never uh, any official. Um, yeah, it was never an, an official thing where people uh, where it could be proved. Uh, and um, this is a difficult, a difficult. This is difficult. A difficult case. I would like to comment on it more, but uh, you know, this game is kind of tough. <laughs> it's, it's extremely sharp here, this position. Rook a4 maybe, rook a4, c4, it's super, super star. Yeah, h4. H4 probably is the move. Yeah, and now yeah, knight g3, I guess. And then take or take immediately. Yeah, take immediately. There is knight e6, and I'm not sure what I'm doing then. Time warning. Queen takes c3 is an extremely, extremely cool move. <laughs> but it's probably bad. Yeah. So here, yeah, probably this, not waste any time. Takes there with the queen and then my, my time, oops, takes with the rook. Rook c4 is an idea, no. I have knight c5, I would probably can still play it. Yeah, I'm too much. I mean, in too much pins here, probably. Phew, good game here, I guess, but RS team. Probably rook a4, something like that. Check. Yeah, rook a8 and mate. Yeah, that was a strong game Check by white, mate. I guess. That was a strong game. I don't know. Maybe I had something good, but uh, I don't know. It was super tough. Tough to evaluate. I think at the beginning, uh, th this looked okay, but uh, it was sharper than sharp, yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm okay with losing such a game. I mean, he really played well. Okay, so Immortal, let's beat Immortal. And I really mean it, I want to beat him. <laughs> I have a good score against this person, so. So mainline Retty Gambit. And a very early g6. Mm, okay. I don't quite remember the details. But this kind of position is always slightly better for white. White has an extra um, center pawn, and it's not quite clear what black is doing besides playing with his pieces. Now, this this usually doesn't lead to much. I 
I always play with blue and white since I play online. <laughs> I don't like much the the the, the brown white yeah, the contrast uh, I don't like gaining some space on the queen side and you know I never really understand what this is all about because yeah, wow really that's terrible it's strategically terrible but also tactically um okay you can actually play knight g5 or knight d4 mm. Yeah, I think I'll insert that. Queen g4, if I play bishop f3, the queen is trapped, right? Where is it going? <laughs> this is really funny, yeah? the queen has no square. Black resigns. <laughs> I'm sorry for, <laughs> for being all giggly here, but this is funny. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, in 1986, we played in green, green. <laughs> On the Schneider C CPC 6128. Six, I didn't have one of those, but I know, know them. Game started. So, Mr. Boris. Give me your points. Just give me your points. I'm amazed how popular this line is. It is so completely, completely unharmonious, but people still have an affection like that, affection for it. Six is right. I remember that this is correct, but I don't remember any details. Yeah, I don't think it's actually rubbish. Um, it's just, um, it is just difficult to play for white because he has, his development is bad and so on, but um, it's still difficult. It's so difficult, uh, e five. Yeah, just this, huh? what is the point? Bishop b5, I just play king f8. So, where's the knight going now? That I would like to know. Wow. Move like queen e8 doesn't really do much. Okay, I'll take. I mean, if I just take b4, I must be fine, but I don't know if this is best. 
Okay, let's do it. So this is an equal material position where he has nothing, no, nothing developed. But I have this weird king and the king on evade. Queen e8, I didn't like. That was b5. Yeah, yeah. This is clear that this that this this is possible. But I didn't think this is all that fantastic. Check. I don't mind to get to g8. And he's he has this 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 uh, attacked. So I can just take b2 now or play queen to b8, which is also a good move. Attack this, attack h2. But hmm, I w don't want to play too lame in a, in a too lame way. Hmm, how to do it? I can just grab the pawn, of course. Maybe this is actually the, the way to do it. Yeah, I take it. Yeah, I still play the Nimso Bogo stuff. I still do it. I I, I played the I, I studied the Banco for this repertoire. Or it was kind of I studied the Banco, liked it, made the repertoire, and uh, now I'm kind of stuck with it. It is also an extremely um extremely good opening in Blitz Jazz. It just you have this active play, and that makes it. Um, makes it very nice for the quicker time controls. My idea here is that um, I have queen b8 if he castles, double attacking the bishop and on h2. Yeah, motivation for training. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I've always been motivated uh, because one thing I really learned over the years is that chess is something where hard work pays off enormously. It's not like you do lots of things and you never get anywhere. Yeah, if you in chess, you get somewhere. So this one, I'm not sure about it. I'm trying to say that work pays off in chess, absolutely. I just go back here. Yeah, I've played the Banco in a long time control game, sure. In uh, in some games, two or three games, I think. It was okay. I mean, uh, I beat one or two uh, weaker players and I lost against the 2370 player but that was not due to the opening the um, the um, opening position was was really okay the problem was more that I needed to win this game and uh, at some point I just took uh, the risk was too 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 high to take and I um, I actually made a mistake there that yeah was not difficult uh, to to spot but I still I still failed there um, and yeah this I didn't really think about this move but it is not bad it's, hmm. Mm, that was bad. Yeah. Check. That was not good, not good at all. Because my development sucks and uh, it's not getting any better. Time warning. Mm. This is really not so good. That's not so good. I screwed this up. This fantastic position. Mm. 
my back rank is very weak. A queen move could be extremely tricky to meet. Queen c5. Queen c5. Threat no. Knight d4 is not a threat because of queen e3. That's very lucky actually. No time. Yeah, I'm, I mean, this is bad. Yeah, I had a completely winning position and then spotted to something problematic. Here, just P Black just completely wins. Yeah. And I don't know. I didn't. I didn't do it. Yeah. Probably. Probably already. I shouldn't take and play G six, King G seven, something like that. Tough game, but interesting game. Game started. Okay. Wow. Another strong opponent, Olympus. I think I played him before, Axel Bachmann from Paraguay. This is actually the Paraguay flag, yeah? It's tough to to, to make out. And okay, let's see what he does against this. Okay. That's the most critical line, of course. The acceptance of the sacrifice. Who do you saw live? <laughs> Mr. Bachmann here. <laughs> um, hmm, did I screw this up? I don't I don't know. So what to do, knight over here. Um, I think, uh, Sandro, you have to go for the question by Marcus. I have no idea about the trial accounts, how they work and so on. Okay, I think I get in there. I have some serious pressure here. Hmm. 
night before check coming check um let's get the next one in no i never played title tuesday on chess.com um the thing is i always teach i always teach on tuesday evenings i never managed so he's kind of falling apart there but the a pawn is is dangerous <laughs> quite clearly so now i can can take on b2 but i don't know what this does i mean how how dangerous it is he's got a6 check This, this, this isn't all that clear. I can actually, I can do this. Yeah, I can check take a6 here. Yeah. I can also check here first. But that is probably not so convincing. Check. If I check, I take a6, rook takes bishop c3, there's bishop to h6, but I can go back, back here. Hmm, yeah. Maybe this is not winning, which is a bit of a shame. But it might be the case that I just have a draw. Rook takes as bishop h6, so we cannot play that. Playing it a bit safe here. I think what he's doing here is just not right. Yeah, He's trying to, to play for something where there is nothing. Maybe he's trying to play for time, but the position is not good for white here. He's not better, let's say. Time warning. Mm, I forgot that he can go back. Oh, that's stupid. Mm, that's a bit stupid. Check. Check. Ah, that was stupid to to go into um to go into this. It's of course it's just a draw, but 
Uh, is it a draw? You can do this first. I'm stupid. Ah, oh, come on. This is crazy. This is crazy what I'm doing here. Oh, I'm such a moron. I'm such an idiot. I forgot that he can take. I was just thinking about f5, yeah? That is crazy. Absolutely crazy. Ah, there's what what an idiot I am. Losing this game is the worst. I mean, this is of course dead and I can just play here and I have the better ending, of course. This is just better for black. Ah, come on. I'm such a moron sometimes. Idiotic. I was just thinking like f5. He plays f5 and of course he doesn't play f5. Ah, what a joke, yeah. Losing this game where white was playing for loss the whole time. Amazing. Okay, so then I have to be Cooney Fox. <laughs> of course, I saw the variation, of course, but I still played h5 because I felt he would go f5. <laughs> That's what does he play? I mean, come on, you're not serious here, right? What is this? <laughs> this is like, this is a King's Indian from hell, you know? <laughs> With B6. Funny. I don't know if there is an English translation for Kunifax. I don't even know what it would mean in, in German. <laughs> so, um, what is Black's plan here? He wants to just get killed on the queen side, I guess. How do I do it? Bishop d3, king e2 probably. Yeah, this is the worst King's Indian defense ever. That is probably about right. I still not quite understand how I lose the game before. That was just the most idiotic thing ever. <laughs> This is the Austrian flag. So I've installed the bishop here. So but how to how to open this up? It's not so easy to get in knight b3 and c5, and he is completely shut down this. Maybe here, yeah, to try to take. Now he opens this up, and now I can play rook a1, a7, knight b5. Yeah, this is not nice there. Bishop f8. So how do we 
continue like this rook a8 in g4 it shouldn't really lead to anything i'm threatening knight to a7 now Knight a7 is the simple threat. Uh, now we get to the real questions. Philip Hoffmann asks, do you, in mo uh, do you earn more or less money nowadays compared to your previous job? Um, yeah. Well, Mm. I have some ideas that actually might might get to uh, might um, even get to a situation that it will be not less anymore. But it's uh, it's a little bit less. I also you also have to know. I mean, I've I've, I've been working in a bank which is, which is notoriously well paid. Um, what now? Knight a seven. Uh, he wants, just wants to allow the trade. Yeah, hey, I'm happy about that. Check. Now, knight b5, I guess. Yeah, so I've got an ending now, and this is the... This is the, the one thing you want here in this position. Total control in an ending where black is passive. So do you want to, I think I want to invade here. Yeah, rook a8, looks good. Yes, Bayerischer Schweizer, you're extremely right about that. <laughs> Banks pay notoriously well, and you oftentimes really wonder why. Okay, I was thinking knight b3 to c5. But just taking is, of course, also fine. Knight g4 looks like a counterplay, but I take e5, so he cannot really move the knight. Yeah, this is a good question. Yeah, does working from home ever uh, feels isolated? Um, you know, yeah. it's really important. I think that uh, when you work from home, that you have uh, some things on the agenda uh, that you sometimes just leave the house and do something else. And uh, I mean, you're sitting at home the whole time. Sitting is wrong, and you're doing stuff. But it's uh, it sometimes it's uh, it can be uh, a little bit. A little bit um, yeah you, you don't communicate all that much I mean you talk to people of course but uh, check it's um, it's sometimes really uh, what I miss is those uh, sometimes those simple talks like over coffee or something yeah, like about some some trivial things you know <laughs> okay this is made yeah. check mate um, Okay, so I managed to win against Cooney Fox and uh, game ah, my game against Joshik. Every single session, here we go. 
Yoshik. <laughs> it's always fun, those games. It's a complete tactical mess. So we have a King's Indian and we get some get some mess. Uh, he has some weird thing here for yeah, he plays this stuff. With a six, something like that. Play the fire rovets, yeah, not with white. And uh, probably <laughs> never at all. Sometimes they play with g4 in this position. Mm, I don't have to. I don't know this so well. Yeah, this is a somewhat uncommon move order. Yeah, thanks for tr trisk it for commenting on my uh, ICC video series. I really enjoyed doing it, so I'm happy that um, you like it. So, going for castling long. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know if it's a good idea to castle long. What happens if I actually just stay in the middle here and see what he does? It's not, I mean, f5 and this stuff is not that easy to play here. I mean, you can play it, but I'm not getting checkmated. The king is only one. Should be uh, funny at least, complicated. So here let's put it to f2 Tactical mess incoming. <laughs> this is probably true. <laughs> yeah, Marcus, you're right. People are talking more about improvement than actually trying to do it. This is also my impression. This is the thing, yeah? they, they buy all kinds of books and then all of a sudden they notice, oh my God, I actually have to read them. And then it gets complicated. <laughs> So knight to b5 was my idea. I needed to get away from the c file because of taking and bishop takes b5. Yeah, tough position here. I mean, a7 is hanging. I don't know if he wants to cover it. <laughs> um, yeah, I can try to play here, here, into a4. Um, I usually, I mean, I don't think I had a day without chess for some time. I mean, in the holidays, if I do, I'm on vacation, but... Uh, 
normally uh, I do some kind of chess every day. I'm not sure, queen a4, that doesn't really threaten all that much. Now that I think of it. Yeah, a repertoire versus e4 on chessable is in the works. This is the Alekhine's repertoire. Hmm, I don't know if I want to take here. Uh, quick decision, but he has a, he cannot put a knight on c5. So a4, a5 looks like it should work. Like it should work. Okay. But this, uh, this should be fine, huh? Queen to b6. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm giving up that pawn, but is that important really? Queen b7 maybe, check, check, check. Yeah, that's something I can play. I don't mind the pawn. Now I'm better, definitely better here. <clears throat> the key is this knight, the knight on d2. Let's do this for knight b3. I don't see how he keeps the A-pawn. Ah, this is how he keeps the A-pawn. Time warning. Hmm, not good. Hmm, yeah. Hmm. Offered. No, I'm, I'm still clearly better here. The problem is I have no time. No, no, I'm not taking a draw. Forget about it. I might have to draw at the end. That's, that's possible. But... Uh, He's a brilliant swindler, he is, really. Check. <laughs> yeah, tactical trick, tactical trick, and all of a sudden Check. things get difficult with Check. this time control. Check. Check. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah! Shoot! No! Okay. 
Dwight forfeits on time. Yeah, that was a shame. I mean, Black got completely killed. <laughs> and then he swindled himself out of it. I can never take the draw. I mean, Black is completely outplayed. Anyway, so uh, one more game. One more game. Yeah, he, he relies on 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 his uh, tactical, uh, yeah, and trickery. And I was a bit too slow around here. Game started. Oh, my way as the final game. <laughs> so let's go for the Alakines. I think he plays knight c3, no? F4. Hmm. Wow, no idea. So um, then c5, I guess. Mm, that looks okay yeah, for black. Or is the open f file an issue? Might be. Maybe he castles here and, and has knight g5. That could be quite dangerous. No, I'm not a bit off today. I think I'm playing quite well. I just have the odd, the odd issue, and I'm playing really strong opponents. Just in case you, uh, I mean, they were almost all, all the GMs, and uh, I'm quite happy to to just outplay a guy like Yoshik. I mean, usually I'm, I don't lose those, but uh, it happens. Okay, so checking is really, really slow. It is a little shifted. Yeah, that happened when I screwed up. When I screwed up. Uh, at the end of the Yoshi game. <laughs> eh. I think actually I have to do it like that. Ooh, spooky. Now it's okay. Yeah, I think I'm okay here, even though the general type of position is uh, certainly more up my way's alley. He's a good tactical player. So yeah, I wanted to take with the knight. Yeah, and now this one, <laughs> like here, it looks funny. But probably it's okay. I mean, White's development is not all that great. So I don't think he can kill me immediately. Oops, no, A6. <laughs> A3, there's knight B3 also.
Mm, I have completely forgotten that I have no really great square there. Okay. I mean, knight b3 doesn't really make all that much sense. Hmm. Hmm. He can go b4 now. That is actually strong. Hmm. Uh, here, white's space advantage looks quite frightening, to be honest. But I was quick, yeah? I played quickly. Knight d5 might be a move. Yeah, I just recognized it. But I can drop the queen back, I think. Then b5, maybe. Hmm. I have bishop c5, though. Yeah, I just go back. Check. Mm, he played fine, really. My g6 doesn't even work here. <clears throat> Rook d6, I have knight f5. Maybe he just goes knight d2. So knight f5, I think. This is not easy for white. I've got two pawns already, threatening e5, queen to d6. It's tough. It's not easy for him here, yeah, with no time. Time warning. Hmm, I didn't want to give it up, but I probably have to. Check.
the like incoming work challenge. Time. Yeah, it was it was really tough for him with this uh, with this um, with this time situation. So at the end of the session, I lost ten points. Good game, yes, but I'm still um, I'm still happy with uh, with the session because I think the games were all interesting and uh, in general I fared quite well. Thanks a lot for watching. It's important uh, to, to, for me to tell you that I'm not going to be on next Monday. Yeah, next Monday I will not be on because I'm on a pretty, uh, yeah, uh, a, a, a vacation, yeah, <laughs> because it's my birthday next week and I will be uh, away a couple of days to relax. And uh, so no show on next Monday. Yeah, make sure to take note of that. <laughs> okay, guys, I hope you um, enjoyed uh, the show. I'll be back in two weeks. Thanks for watching.